Hi, welcome to Informatica Support TV. Today we're going to be talking about how to configure Natiza ODBC connectivity on your Unix or Linux box. Before we begin, what you'll need to download is the Natiza ODBC driver package, and you can get this from your Natiza uh, support contact. What it looks like is this you'll get um, a file called NPS client and then a version, .tar, and you can just extract this on your Linux box or Unix box into a directory which you choose. Um, another thing you'll want to download is the SSG ODBC test tool. So for this you can go to the My Support site and just scroll down, it's going to be on the right here, Debugging Tools, I'll click on Debugging Tools, and uh, then we want to find SSG ODBC. So you'll need to down this, download this for your operating system and it includes the syntax here as well. Finally, you'll need to log in as your Informatica Unix user. This will guarantee that your permissions are the same as the Informatica um, directories, as well as the environment variables are set for the correct user. So to, to get started, what you'll need to do is you'll need to configure ODBC INI and ODBC INST.ini files these are in the Power Center, the Informatica Home slash ODBC, uh, you know, your version, so ODBC 7.0, let's say. In there you'll find ODBC INI and ODBC INST.ini. And then I just go to the sample, which comes from Natisa, and I just copy and paste this into that file. So let me show you what I mean here. So I've already extracted NPS clients. I go to the lib64 directory, which you can barely see. And you'll see that there is an ODBC INI sample and an ODBC INST sample. So let's take ODBC INST. And what I do is I just copy the section below. So I skip this, I skip this line, and I just copy this. Well, this. And I paste this into the ODBC INST.ini file, which comes with Informatica. Then you, you'll need to be sure to make changes to these uh, lines here. And the debugging, debug logging can be set to true if you run into problems, so that way uh, Natiza will output a better log to the log path here. So just to give you an idea of what I changed on mine, I basically copied copied this exactly and pasted it into the ODBC INI, which Power Center uses, and I just changed the driver location, server name, and database. For ODBC INST, I just changed the driver and setup. So this, these are the same file as are used here, as is used here. Um, the final thing you want to do is set the environment variables. So three things are required. ODBC INI is going to point directly to the file, to the ODBC INI file. NZ ODBC INI path is something that Teaser requires and it points to the directory where ODBC INI and ODBC INST.ini reside. So typically these would be the same directory. Um, in this case, in fact what I recommend is just uh, set it to this this directory here because this is where Power Center um, puts its ODBC INI and ODBC INST.ini files by default. So lastly, what you'll need to do is set the LD library path, um, or lib path, or sh lib path, depending on your operating system. What we suggest is that you put the data direct driver manager in the front, and then you can have the second entry be the Natiza ODBC driver location. So that'll be your Natiza slash lib64 directory. So once that's done, it's all ready to test. Let me just show you what my environment variables are here. So I just have the driver manager at the front, and this is where my Natiza driver is. So it's the 64 bit one. Here's my ODBC file.
And this is the directory where ODBC INI and ODBC INST.INI are, uh, are found. So um, you're all ready to test using SSG ODBC. It just works like this, SSG ODBC minus D, DSN. DSN is in your ODBC INI. So in my case, DSN is NZSQL caps. Uh, U, username, P, password, and V is for verbose output. Um, so if you get any errors here, definitely give us a call and we'll be able to figure out what step, next steps to take based on the error and based on your environment variables in ODBC INI. Um, once you do make, once you do get a successful connection, you'll want to uh, put these environment, environment variables permanently in your dot profile and then source the dot profile and restart power center domain to take effect. After that's done, it should work fine for power center, but if not, please let us know. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, tuning in to Informatica Support TV. We'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or on Twitter at InfoSupport.